Sheila. We welcome into our studios Kalki, who is a transgender, transgender rights activist and also the architect behind this particular website. Well, Kalki, first things, how did you really come, ac uh, come across this kind of an idea? How did it really occur to you? It occurred to me um, probably a year before. Um, I have been, uh, I myself am a transsexual woman and uh, right from my um, teens I have met, I know who transsexual women are at heart, in our soul, in our mind, in our activities, we are real women. And we have passion, we have love, we have desire to have a normal, healthy relationship with men. And uh, having a married life, having a husband, having children, these are dreams that never become realities for trans, uh, transsexual women. I had a little hope if this could be possible. And thus, Thirunangi.net was born. Yeah, but uh, please tell us, uh, we understand that uh, other matrimonial sites were actually rejecting yes. uh, any transsexual women who put their information on it. Absolutely. So did that happen very often? Is that a fact? I mean, uh, we didn't uh, know this issue was there until uh, some of my friends actually wanted to put their profiles on popular websites, right. popular matrimonial websites. and. Within a couple of days, those uh, profiles were rejected and no reason, no reason at all. And they tried again and again it happened. How would the, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but how would the website actually know, uh, you know, that your friends were actually transsexual women who had put their uh, information there? Because uh, we don't want to cheat men, uh, the families who would uh, look for the profiles of, okay. of us. So we do write in that, that uh, we are, we were boys or we, were, we are transsexual women. We do give that information, which is uh, right. That's quite honest, you're right. Yeah, you, so you were putting yourselves up in a very honest fashion, and obviously absolutely. it was not being accepted very well. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but one question I definitely want to ask you. There is so much of debate about 377, yeah. about rights, uh, uh, like, you know, sexual rights given to, to consenting adults, and a whole lot of debate going around all through the country. Now, starting off a matrimonial site, uh, when the deb debate is still hot, but no, le no legal provisions as yet to really support this kind of a relationship, do you think it's actually brushing the law? It is not brushing the law, I would say. We are transsexual women, and in our culture, in our, um, in our country, in, in our culture and in our history, this transsexuality, transgenderism has been there. And uh, we have changed. We are post-operative transsexual women. And what does the law want us to do now? Does it want us to marry another transgender? Does it want us to marry another woman? We are women. I mean, we are completely women. We are straight women. And we fall in love with men. Most of them fall in love with men. Not everyone, maybe. But most of the transsexual women fall in love with men. And shouldn't these relationships be acknowledged? Or should we become sadhus? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> How's the scene here in Tamil Nadu? Definitely better than several other states. Tamil Nadu is uh, much, much ahead when it comes to transgender rights and reforms. I would say the government has been very positive. Then we have Ms. Kanimuri, who is actually voicing for transgenders in the parliament. And the Social Welfare Board has been coming up with uh, a lot of initiatives like a family card, um, a third gender column in colleges, especially. Uh, co-education colleges and uh, free housing and a lot more like a free sex change surgery for uh, people who are really transgender transsexual right. women now kalki uh, i know that you were very recently in kerala yes. so w what kind of acceptance did you find uh, you know for transsexual women when you were there tell us about that because we're interested to know how other states actually deal with uh, transsexual women uh, I, met, I met many human rights activists and uh, they were absolutely very happy to see that Tamil Nadu is really progressing this much, absolutely, uh, when it comes to transgender rights. In Kerala, when we actually landed up and uh, we were in a public bus stand at one point of time waiting for the bus, in three minutes, hundreds of men just watching us, stabbing us, like watching aliens, like Curious, curiosity, it? curiosity, complete curiosity. Because there's no transgender, transsexual women living in Kerala. They all migrate because of the fear of being discriminated, being harassed. They actually migrate to other states, um, other states like Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai, like that. Uh, Tamil Nadu is the only state that's progressing when it comes to transgender rights. And I think other states should definitely follow. 
Right. Now, you have started this matrimonial site today. Yeah. Uh, any hits so far? I think more than a thousand hits today. In one day? <laughs> yeah, and I checked my mail this evening and uh, I didn't put my profile uh, online. Yet I've received three messages, three men from different parts of India wanting to marry me. This is uh, <laughs> extremely interesting. Oh. So that means that there is an interest. So we better make sure she comes in often enough to our studio before she <laughs> runs away and gets married. <laughs> All right. Well, Kalki, one, uh, of course, uh, a little. Uh, 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 one nagging point is that a transsexual woman getting married to a man. Now, law, does law in, by any chance uh, stop uh, stop this kind of a marriage anywhere? Is there any law against it? Or I don't think there is any law about it, first of all. There's no law about it. We don't have any uh, security, social security for transsexual people in our country, except uh, uh, some law that generally says about uh, our citizens of our country. Um, there has to be a lot of, uh, I mean, transgender rights. It is time that uh, the rights of uh, matrimonial rights and adoption rights, other rights of transgender people, transsexual women and men are spoken. Yeah. I think my website is just an initiative to start a debate, to start uh, um, a discussion on these issues. Right. Kalki, I'd like to know if uh, all of these men who are actually uh, coming up with offers of marriage are really serious suitors. I wouldn't like personally to see that uh, someone was just, uh, you know, mocking or making fun of and therefore not serious. You know, so how are we going to differentiate? How are you and other transsexual women like yourself going to actually know that these guys are for real? Um. Right from our uh, teens, right from our childhood, when we identified ourselves as women, transsexual women, we have been mocked and we have been yeah. abused by men. We do know their psychology. Really? Uh, fortunately, not all men are like that. Only uh, a few of them are like that. And uh, it isn't very difficult to find the right person because uh, we're just not uh, going to jump into them. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we, will, we, are, we have a committee where people who are interested, men who are interested, we would interview him, we would like to know if he's a true person, an honest, trustworthy person who believes in uh, gender equality, then we would maybe proceed. How many of your friends are actually married? Um, not many, maybe a couple of people. Uh -huh. All right, this website, through this website rather, you also seek to promote adoption. Yes. Now tell us a little more about it, how do you, do, how do you propose to do that? I mean, uh, there are um, a transgender women have been driven out from their families and we love children. We love to mother children. And uh, I mean, even if the government would allow such adoption, do you think adoption agencies would give us children? No, they wouldn't because um, the discrimination is still there. It has, to go off. it has to go off. Until we have no discrimination, we can't adopt children, single parenting or uh, couple, married uh, couple adopting children may not be possible. Right. You are an activist. You've been doing a lot of work in this particular area. So I can see that in your mind, your fight is going to go on, even yes. if it is in, towards adoption rights, for instance. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is just a small initiative, a small fire, a small spark that I'm doing. And uh, I'm actually knocking at other governments, other governments uh, especially, maybe the central government as well. Uh, they should come up with some initiatives, welfare schemes for people like me in other states. Kalki, uh, what can we say except, you know, to wish you all the very, very best in your fight. Please count on our support because we do believe that each of us has the right to be just the way we are. And we really would like to thank you very much for being here with us tonight. And of course, you're a constant guest on our show, and we love having you here. Thank you so much. Thank Jennifer. you so thank much, you, Kalki. Appreciate your time.